Hello and welcome to Someka Sprint Planning Template for Google Sheets. This tool helps you to plan, manage and keep track on project sprints. To use the template, you have to make a copy first. Just go to File, then click on Make a Copy. There are seven sections of this template, four inputs and three outputs. In the input section, you can find Sprint Plan, Sprint Retrospective, Backlog, and Settings. And under Output, you can find Kanban, Sprint Dashboard, and Comparison Dashboard. Let's start with Settings. In Settings, you create your team. We are defining what will be seen in the drop-down lists. Let's change some settings and add few new people in my team. Once you're done, you can continue with the sprint planning form. This section will help you to organize your meetings. You can fill out the necessary information like title, time, meeting link, meeting room and meeting address. And choose your team from the drop down list here. You can change or update all the other information under agenda section and make notes. And in the end, you can print it if you want. Sprint planning meetings, goals, and main tasks are being defined by the backlog section. We can create and update all of the information of each ticket. Most of the options in the drop down lists are defined in the settings. Let's add one additional ticket so we can track it later on. Okay, let's go to Kanban section to see how it works together. So I will choose the Sprint 6, as is the current Sprint we are in. And here we can see our new task. Once you finish this task, you can click the arrow here, and it will take me to Related Draw in the Backlog section. I will change the status to completed as it's completed. I will also add the completion date. Okay, back to the Kanban. As you see, the new ticket has moved to the completed section. You can also use the filters above. The colors of each task vary according to the priority level of each task. Those colors are actually adjustable in the settings section. Here. Let's continue with the sprint retrospective. After each sprint, you make a retrospective meetings and discuss all the tasks and goals. You can make some comments and decisions of the future plans of the project. This section is optional, so it will not impact your backlog. You can filter information on the upper right corner. You can choose which list the task will be shown under the category section here. Let's go back to navigation part. And lastly, we're going to check out two important output sections, which are Single Sprint Dashboard and Comparison Dashboard. 
You can check these dashboards when you're planning or having a retrospective meeting. Here is the single sprint dashboard. You can filter your data as always. And the other dashboard is the Sprint Comparison Dashboard. This is the comparison between all of the sprints that the project went through. And just like in the other dashboards, you have your filters above. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to check our other templates at www.someka.net.